Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're still reloading, you're the mad. The dark crew is here, so we can join them as well. I suppose. Can we talk to you first? If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Uh, I had a question for you. I'm sure you do. How do you switch back and forth between voices? All it takes is the right command. Whenever Dog hears the his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, Bark my audio log at him. The one in the police station. That'll call me out. Nice. Why does that make him go away? Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. Why did you put the emphasis on the word master before? The master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, Commanders. The Master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the Master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now Dog does whatever the old man wants. Hmm. Can't you do anything? Do anything? Me. Me, dog puts in the cage. Hurts himself to try and drown out my voice when all I want to do. Uh, uh, never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back. Screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands. Lock dog up. You're trying to protect dog. Having a liar control him, hurt him, you want to protect him. I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from hurting others, killing others. Quiet that mindless howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. You care about him? He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint, let go of the needs, the hungers, ease the burden. Just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. Why can't you control him? The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke, or when I first started thinking for myself. It was so long ago. I slept for a long time. Before, I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice, and I woke up to protect him. I have other questions for you. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? Yes. Uh... It's all about the liar. We can ask about these later. We'll... I think. Yo. Well now, if it isn't my ball, chain, and dog collar rolled all into one. I found one of her stashes. Why did you leave them around the villa? Why? Survival. I still needed to leave the residential area to scrounge up supplies, and I don't like taking chances. The villa's dangerous. So I left weapons and stims in case I got in a tight spot. 
Of course you show up putting your mitts on everything. I suppose this qualifies as an emergency, so I'm not complaining. Much. Scrunch supplies and like what? I still need to eat. At least I think I do. The villa provides. Even if it's not as glamorous as the Cantina Madrid. Once I, well, realized what you could scrounge up around here, I had a lot of time to experiment. Not the best chef, but, well, here's the mix, if you can stomach it. I call it a Sierra Madre Martini. And how's it make it? Scrape some cloud residue off the walls, mash it in a tin can with some junk food from the machines, then hold your nose and down it. There's electric hot plates around if you can't find a campfire to mix it at. Also, there's other recipes you can do with the cloud residue, although it might take hardier survivalists than me to brew them. I stick to martinis. Nice. Thank you for the recipe. Uh, that's enough for now. I'd shed a tear. But I'm sure we'll be chatting again. Yes, that is real. If that human wasn't wearing a collar. I'm not sure we can get a lot of information out of her right now, so. Good. Well done. Now for the festivities and your part in all this. The owner of the Sierra Madre, for whatever reason, keyed the grand opening to the gala event itself. It needs to be far off in order for the casino doors to open. As I've discovered, one person can't do it. So get your team into position indicated on your pit boy, then trigger it properly. You're so close now, don't let me down. Otherwise, I'll have to rely on the next team. What is the color meant? A display of lights. Fireworks, music in the streets, a pre-war festival to mark the casino's opening. The bomb struck first. It is of no consequence, only firing the event is. Get the three in position, then travel to your position in Salida del Sol and trigger the gate. After that, the real work begins. So this was a warm-up? Perhaps you think this is a simple robbery, a cheap casino heist. No, this is a heist of the centuries. We're not plundering Sierra Madre. We're plundering history, taken from the old world itself. It won't let its secrets go easily, not without a fight. I wouldn't expect anything less. I'm supposed to get to the markers on my map. I've unlocked the west and east gates to Cuesta del Sol and Salida del Sol. Now that you've survived the villa, I need to get to my position. You don't need me to hold your hand anymore. I'll keep monitoring you via the transceivers through the villa. If I need to offer guidance, I will. Okay then, see ya. I'd suggest taking the FEV reject to his position first. Although you may need his brutality and strength elsewhere first. As easy as the villa was to navigate, the outlying areas of the villa are far more dangerous, thicker with the ghost people, traps, and toxins. Use your team as I use you. Listen to your caller. Watch where you step. You are no use to be dead. Alright, so now everyone is here. Red markers on the map. Okay. Let's see. But they want me to get dog first, right? So, are we on our way to somewhere else? A gala event, perhaps? Yep, I need you to get to your gala event position. Maybe dog will obey you. I'm not as easily broken. Mm, I have other questions for you. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers? Uh, okay, never mind. We 
Are you seriously telling me that if you won't follow me? The... What do you know about the gala event? The gala event is the way to bring the old man out. He won't show himself until the casino doors are open. So triggering the event is key. And the key. The question becomes, can we trust each other to do this? We'll see. If we go there, you'll have to give me control. If you bring Dog out, then... I'll make sure you pay in blood. So are you willing to follow me now? Any reason why you're assigned to this point in the map? Maybe it's familiar, comfortable. Practice makes perfect. And as much as it bruises my ego, some things require brute strength. In the right combination. And besides, none of your assembled band of thieves look able to rip a 200 year rusted power switch down like a machete to fire up an entire town. Okay, uh, that's enough for now. We'll see. Are you willing to follow me now? Nope, still not. If it isn't the Come on. Uh, I think we should drown together. I'll follow you for now. Yes. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear trap. Ha. That probably would be a better item to have. That's the gift shop. This is gonna help. Air tastes like copper. Or old world gold. Another one. Can I get a headshot on this? It's so annoying when I don't get those crits. Ooh. Nicely done, God. Just tear his head off. Believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Oh yeah. But that's why you have to make sure he's safe. And that's why we have you around. So don't accidentally the dog accidentally doesn't uh, swallow the whole villa. Which is probably gonna happen anyway, but you know. Chips! Chips! Delicious chips. Almost got away. Then the idiot's hunger screws it up. Yeah. That doesn't sound the best. Okay. Be careful. Be very, very careful. Happy to follow the Sierra Madre broadcast. Curiosity and greed are the same thing. Who saw me? Was it he? Yes! That was him. There's a gas tank somewhere. I think that's the first seeker we've seen. Ah, more. Oh, there's a lot more. Let's get some hits on the hits signed up. Or not. Just shoot the ceiling, that's fine, that's completely fine. Or the pillar. Can I have a shot in your head now? Technically, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, well in that case... We are really low on health. Stop shooting shit at me. Did you keep a limp? Come on, we need to get the limb off. 
There we go. Good, good. Whew. Oh, there's one alive. That felt like a disaster stealth wise. We need to move faster than this if we're going to outwit the old man. Oh fine. Hmm. Is there anything good that you can get from these rooftops? Ah oh, shit. Fell down. If we need to fight, you should call dog out. As much as I hate to admit it. Nah, you're fine, God. You manage things quite well thus far. There's a couch. Watch out for that couch. Uh, that's true. We could have just gone and done Eureka instead. But I decided to do DLC missions. Not really regretting it, so it's fine. Ooh, there's more cigarettes here. Which will so mean absolutely no benefit because I already have the achievement. Wish I had a stealth boy instead of this bear trap. Hmm. Oh. So basically, just walked over a red roach and didn't even notice. Thank you, God. That's a lot more thankful than I expected. We'll need to move faster than this if we're going to outwit the old man. Or okie dokie, whichever. Come on, there needs to be something inside here. There needs to be more chips, that's good. Wait, but is there no exit from this particular area? No, no, no that's, this is a dead end. There's no real benefit in coming down here. Unless the dirty water counts, and I don't think that counts. Alright, there's a ghost. Almost got away. And the idiot's hunger screws it up. Can we? There's a seven percent chance. Yeah, that doesn't seem to work. There we go, head exploded. Sorry guard, I didn't mean to crit you. You just turned the ghost to the enemy. Okay, return casual with... Fedoras. What sorts of stuff now? Wow. Try to leave and boom. Air tastes like copper or old world gold. Joy. It's just bored. And a pretty average terminal. Let's take a look at it. Uh, generally, nope. Developed, nope. Uh, determined? 
Yay, Hector Mojave. Mojave. Right, that's the one. Then speakers off. Music speakers offline. That sounds beneficial. Ah, some plant residue. But the junk food is also pretty good for something. As I planted tin cans. Do you really want to bother doing that? I think it's easy to stab people. Wait, where's the speaker? I think I'm gonna explode. This one. Managed to get that one, luckily. But there is apparently another somewhere. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't be well enough alone. Where can it be? I don't like this area a lot. I think my head is gonna explode. I still have no idea where that speaker is. You know, at this point. That pip boy. Maybe I'll tear it off your arm. Wear it on my neck. Don't do that. That's exceptionally rude. Ah, no terminal. Status report, the villas is like cardboard, but the casino, that place isn't built for people to just gamble, it's a place for them to take cover if the big ones hit. Those doors can be hermetically sealed and whatever they got lining the floors uh, screws up anything not hooked up direct by wires. Word is, while Mr. Yesterday got the villa covered, the players locking up the Sierra Mater like a golden trap. Might explain why we can't get in there. Still no sign of a speaker. Okay, let's take a look at the map. It's supposed to go down there. So we came way too far in this direction. Lots of peeping, still. Is it past this cloud then? Trying to lose me in the cloud. If we need to fight, you should call. Ah, gas tank. Oh, another one. What kind of using? Oh, and use this one. Come on, off your few limbs. Off of them. You don't need those limbs. Oh, legs off. Heads off. Good. Did you find another one? Oh, you did. I have apparently lost a limb. Crippled one anyway. I would appreciate if you did the same, sir. Let's not go in there. I have way too low health for this. Okay, let's just heal up a little. That will do. That felt good. Get out of there. That's not the best place for us to be. So here we are. A row of switches all lined up. How familiar. These switches won't move themselves after all. There must be some trick to it. Now that I'm here, what do you expect me to do? Do you know how to operate the switches? I do. The diagram there tells me what I need to know. 
If the diagram over there holds details, I can... Wait. If you know how to operate the switches, I need you to trust me to get through this. You're right, but... Trust. Trust is such a... Harsh word. I prefer... Mutual need. It's more honest. No, I can help you. These wiring diagrams. I know how to operate the switches in sequence to make fire appear in the sky. I... We just need to make sure that Dog doesn't surface before that happens. To do that, he'll need to be fed. That makes him stay in the cage. What kind of food should I bring back? Dog has torn apart a number of the inhabitants of this town. Well, he doesn't prefer them to... other flesh. It'll do for the time being. Find some of the inhabitants. It'll require some hunting on your part. Kill them. Take some of the remains inside them. Bring it back here. They're not easy to kill. But... I have faith in you. And the beast must be fed if you want him to stay in this cage. Alright, I'll be right back. Two chunks of meat from their bodies should be enough. Hunt quietly, so as not to draw more here. Surely this guy should have food? Wait, did this this spawn? So my previous food has despawned. Okay, what's this? Oh, I can control... I can close this, the gate. That doesn't sound like the smartest plan. Oh, another trap. I should have been more careful. Can I have these dice? The dice? No. Dice. Yeah, okay, that's free. Hmm. This does not look like one of the potential food sources. Come on, there must be some food around here somewhere. There's a food. Is he alone food? He is alone food. Got that trap. Come on, you're taking your head off, sir. Give me your goods. Give me your goods. Goods, give them to me. I still need your head off. Well, any of your limbs will do. Fair. Uh, the poison. Did they install new traps? Must have. Alright. There is an enemy nearby, but he's in the bloody cloud. And here's a cloud. And the beeping is getting louder. Did not explode him there. Ah, <sighs> bloody beeping. Oh, roar skates. We should get those. It's a shame that we can't just pick up the bloody same things we had before. Where is the speaker? Can we go up the ladder? Oh, there's the speaker! Don't explode me! No, five. I will do. Speaker issue solved. Good. Now we need to taunt the harvester. This should work. Where are you, harvester? There you are. I mean, just go, just come closer. Oh, trap. Well, let's just talk about that. 
There's an SPK. Ow. We are doing terrible health fights. Oh, look at the Sarah Mother Martini. That's a... That's a badass thing. I don't know if this can still be used to kill people or not, but I'm gonna use one. Come on, get out of there. Remove yourself from the cloud. Looks far enough out of the cloud now. Come on, give me your remains, give me your remains, give them to me. I need them. Stupid steam pack has worn off and that seemed to make some visual uh, effects, but nothing to my health particularly. Alright. This should mean that I can go ahead and deliver the food. But I need something for myself as well. Yes, hello. You better have brought enough meat. I can feel dog's teeth tearing at my ribs, hungry to get out. Yes, this should be enough. You're good at fetching. This should keep him where he belongs. For now, I'll wait. Send the signal. We'll be ready. Nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Did I die? No, I just got knocked down. I was like, did I dead?